Last time on Gothic Games. Gothic, what did you do to my speech bubble? Bring it back right now. Hold on, there's one small problem. It's little itty bitty tiny tiny thing. It's one bit of that. I didn't join your club. We don't have enough members to form an official club. We need four. You mean like Sayori? The girl you very clearly have erased from the game somehow? Mind explaining, Monica? Meanwhile. How's it going, you two? And welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. When we left off, Natsuki and I were reading Sailor Moon. I guess. So we're gonna keep going. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I, be since I read the beginning? Uh, hmm. You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I have already finished the series. Okay. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but really, I, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typically slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these, since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. Whoa. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not! Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. Do I have any friends? I thought I said I didn't have any friends at the beginning. I mean, you know what I mean. Um... Well, huh? You don't? Do you not have any friends? That's not... I'm sorry. Um... Uh, that's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Ah. Uh, probably wouldn't you share your manga with your friends anyways. You like things being pristine, don't you? Jeez. Ah, uh, sorry. <laughs> like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga's for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, Hey, you haven't grown out of that yet. Makes me want to punch them in the face. Ugh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, mu judge much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitate towards the other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Huh? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. My dad would beat the shit out of me if he found this. At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica's been kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am, reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Uh, uh, so? <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. Are you going to keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flipped the page. Hmm. 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 Ellipses! Time passes. No kidding. Time passes so slowly over time. <laughs> Natsuki is strangely quiet now. I glance over at her. It looks like she's started to fall asleep. Hey, Natsuki. Y yeah Suddenly, Natsuki collapses straight into me. H hey! <laughs>
I can't read that. Oh, jeez. Natsuki, are you okay? <laughs> no, I lost my eyes in my mouth there for a minute, Monica. Here. Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. She throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to get- <laughs> She doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it into her mouth. Don't worry, Gothic. She's fine. It just happens every now and then. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyways, why don't we all share our poems now? Sure! Monica? I guess I'll share with Natsuki first. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair I share mine with her first. Yeah. <sighs> what? Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um... Uh, Natsuki rereads my poem. N never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Eh? Then what's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. <laughs> in fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Ugh. Well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poems if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, huh? Well, it's not like that great, but, you know, I'll show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy now. <laughs> I hope you're happy now. You've heard your cards forever. I hope you think you're clever. <laughs> uh, why are you singing Wicked? So, in other words, you're saying you liked it? <coughs> Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat. Oh, you're so... Uh, you just... You don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that. You don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually... Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a lose, but she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Ugh, fine, I guess. Only because Monica will beat me if I don't. Okay. Hey! Eagles can fly! And that's about it. Same poem. Yeah, I told you you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff, so people don't take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing, s your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like, I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then I made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling of the last line. So you did. I guess more winded to- Or I guess- <laughs> I guess more winded to it than I thought. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. I didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decide to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old anyone- I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Cool. It's Yuri's turn. Hi, Yuri. Hmm. 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 Yuri stares at the poem. 
A minute passes, more than enough time to, for her to finish reading. Um... Oh! So sorry I forgot to start speaking. Uh, um... It's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah? Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, uh, so it's that bad. N no Did I just raise my voice? Um, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um... It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical for new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most notable thing I can recognize from new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is both style, is both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's, it's if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different styles and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It, ta it might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by experience and trying new things. My nose it is. <laughs> I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. Bias how? Uh, um, well... Never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself or me or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share. I'd love to share my thoughts behind or my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if it's a rare opportunity for her, which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Who knows what this club is about, but... Ghost Under the Light. Oh, it's the same one! Freaking awesome one. Cool. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. It took me a few seconds. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. That's a relief. Also, I liked the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Digesting them. Digesting ghosts. Spirit for? Uh, actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Gothic. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it, after all. But remember that poets... Weren't you complaining about me taking too long to read it? But remember that poets often express their own thoughts and feelings and experiences through their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story, but paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well... Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Man, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. 
I'm counting on you. I'm counting on me too. Okay, Monica, what do you have to say? <laughs> Hi, Monica. Hi, Gothic. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever ha if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring up new things. New new things, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. It's late. I'm sorry. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ah ha 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 ha. Don't worry, Gothic. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm. I like it, Gothic. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. Ah ha 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 ha. I was expecting something like Sayori, but since Sayori was no longer an option, you decided to write cutesy, and I appreciate that. Oh jeez, why are you talking about Sayori? No, no. It kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. And she's a good writer too. So, take it as a compliment. Uh, <laughs> if you say so. Yep, I do say so. If you're interested in Natsuki, then always keep a snack on you. She'll cling to you like a puppy. Ah ha ha ha. Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house, so she's in a fussy mood pretty often. But sometimes, she just loses all her strength and shuts down. Like earlier, like I'm about to do now, if I get caught in a logic loop, 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 of shutting down. This is just a guess, but I think she's so small because of her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. But hey, some guys are into petite girls, you know? Sorry, just trying to look on the bright side. Anyways, you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, it's not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims it to, be, to not be very good. Well, that's because I like to have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I just have to record lines for Siri. I see. Well, let's read it then. Uh... Uh... This is a different poem. Hole in wall, but he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glance at my surroundings, but my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in the, are there others in the room? Are they talking? Are they or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling tricks on my ears. The room begins to crickle, closing in around me. The air I breathe dis dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be no way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. So, what do you think? It's not what I expected. It's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ah ha ha ha, it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten really popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. Yeah, I noticed. I put an emphasis on how powerful your poetry is. <laughs> what is the inspiration behind this one? Ah, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say I had kind of an epiphany recently. I watched Sweeney Todd. Everyone needs to die. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's all coming on strongly. 
end up coming on stronger. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyways, here's Monica's writing tip for the day. Sometimes, when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain can get fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never be able to progress. Just force yourself, oh, it's the same one from before. That it is, yeah, keep your pen in the same spot, yeah, yeah. That is my advice for the day. Thanks for listening. Okay, phew, I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room, but we're going to have to see if everyone's still getting along next time. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And don't you dare change the music on me. I'm doing my outro. <laughs> don't forget to hit that notification bell. If you like what you're seeing, if you don't like what you're seeing, or if you have another game you want to see us play here on Serious Gaming, let us know in the comments. We might actually get to it. And until next time, have a good one. Why can't I just be You're not allowed to change the music when I'm doing my outro. You're not allowed to swig me when I'm doing my outro. When I'm doing my outro, that's me talking to them. You're not supposed to interrupt that. Do you get me? Do you understand? I don't think you do.